welcome to bank time uh, thank you for watching um, you join me on um, a little 12 man syndicate I'm part of um, it's an old estate lake in Hampshire um, it's been here so many years and um, unfortunately it's looking like this is the last year um, the estate that's leasing um, the owner this venue is terminating the lease um, potentially the fish are going to be removed um, it's not going to be a fishing lake anymore which would be devastating really um, it's such a special place um, there's there's a good few 30s in here there's some really old um, fish all of them special and uh, this could be my, my last session on here um, I'm doing two nights and um, I wanted to make this video for my record really uh, because I don't think I'll probably ever get to fish a lake like this ever again um, I haven't fished it as much as I should have done either um, because of the COVID restrictions over the last year um, and one thing or another. Uh, but I say, I, I want to go out and, and catch a few fish. I've never really got amongst the real big ones here. Um, I've, I've got a real habit of picking up the smaller residents, but you know, I do manage to catch. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can buck that trend today. Uh, looks really carpy, really good for it. Uh, we do a bit of rain. Um, I've been putting a little bit of bait in, a little bit of a sprinkling of bait in some of the spots I'll be fishing over the last few weeks. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed we can get something. There we go, um, the first from uh, a double take. Uh, just got this one in the net, the uh, right hand rod screams off and there's a slightly bigger one in there. Um, not two of the biggest residents of this lake but you know, every fish from this special lake um, are absolutely unbelievable. So there we go. What a great start. I'll go and get the other one out now for you. Beautiful. There we go, there's that second fish uh, from the double take. And uh, yeah, a little bit bigger this time and uh, put up quite a scrap as well. They're, they're so healthy in here. Uh, absolutely perfect fish and uh, special, every single one of them. And uh, I can't wait to get on with the session and uh, hopefully pick up some more of these stunning carp. Absolutely love this place. Let's get you back home, mate. Come on. Oh. Brilliant. Um, I can't ask for a better start than to uh, catch a couple of fish just like that straight off um, and there's more fish about in the spot so uh, I'm gonna get them rods back out now get kind of prepped up for the night and get some dinner and uh, we'll see if we can get anything else in the night but really good signs fish are down here on good spots they seem to be feeding and uh, two very quick bites so yeah Still managing to avoid the big girls in here. Um, still probably two of the smallest fish in the lake. Um, but that has surely got to change. If I catch all the small ones, if I, if I just stay here till I catch all the small ones, hopefully something bigger will come along. Um, I'd be really delighted with 20 in this session. Um, lean uh, common carp there, mid-double. I'm still avoiding these big girls, but very, very happy uh, with the third fish of the session there. Let's get him back, get the rod back out. Try and get your granddad. Beautiful stuff. I suppose what makes uh, this lake special to me is the, the fact that it's so mysterious. Uh, like I say, it's only a 12-man syndicate, very, very underfished. A lot of the guys have been uh, members for years. Um, and just renew the tickets and only get out a couple of times a year. Um, some, of the, some of the members just fish for the roach or the perch, um, not interested in the carp. Um, it's done a 40 a few years ago and uh, every now and again it will throw up a fish that nobody's seen or nobody recalls. Um, there's no real records kept. Um, there's a logbook where people are supposed to record their captures 
um, but not everybody does. And uh, there's always the chance of catching something pretty special. And, and the only place I've fished that kind of feels like this to me is, is uh, Red Mire Pool. Um, and even then, when I fished Red Mire, I caught fish. Both times I went and um, it was great to be there and you could feel that it was steeped in history, but you couldn't help feel that the whole thing was a little bit commercial now. Um, you know, you're going to kind of look at a museum of carp fishing rather than actually fishing um, Red Mire in its heyday. But I feel like a lake like this, this is its heyday. Um, I'm down here, um, prime time spring, fish are at their biggest. I'm the only person here, I've got it to myself. Um, and yeah, it's, it's upsetting that I'm not gonna get that soon. And uh, I'll be back on one of my other lakes that's gonna be absolutely rams. So uh, gonna give it one last fish, but yeah, genuinely uh, quite emotional to be doing my last couple of nights on here. And I uh, really hope we get something, but most importantly, I wanna keep a record for myself um, and a memory um, that I can watch of how cool this place was. So yeah, All right. There we go, what about that for a fish? And that is exactly what I've been waiting for. Uh, such a long time. Um, I've spent a fair bit of time down here. I've been picking up some of the little smaller carp, all very welcome. Um, but we've been looking for something a little bit bigger and this is it. What an absolutely fantastic common carp. Uh, comes in at 21 pound six, but God knows how old it is or what it's seen and what's happened here while it's been in there. But I'm so happy with that. Makes all the time here worth it. Absolutely stunning fish and an example of the fish that you can catch from here and uh, why well, I'm gonna miss it so much. To pop it down, just have a quick look at the other side. Dedicate this fish to my wife. She's probably forgotten what it looked like. Look at you. Yes. There we go. In all her glory. Thank you very much. Absolutely love it. Let's get you back. Right, I just thought I'd explain how I'm fishing. Um, they don't really respond to a lot of bait in this lake, so I've just been um, pre-baiting in small quantities for, um, for quite, a, quite, a, quite a little while now. Um, certain spots um, with the Atlantic crab um, boilies from Mr. Baits, and um, I've been putting in a little bit of pellet with that. Um, and I'm just fishing a uh, whittled down Atlantic crab wafter. There we go. Um, I've just got them tied up in the middle of that PVA bag, um, solid bag, bit of a leader on there, look. And I've just clipped the rods up um, just so that it hits the spots. I've got three spots fishing the far margin. There's a, there's a reed bank, there's some snags, and there's a point. Um, that's my three um, sort of go-to spots in this swim. Um, and then just keep an eye on where, where, where the fish are, where, where I've got the lake to myself. Um, really, I'm quite happy to move at any given point. If, if the fish um, seem to start showing in another part of the lake, then I, I will definitely move on to them. There we go, just over 20 pounds. What a way to wake up to this beauty. And uh, it did run me around the houses a little bit. Um, it went straight for the snags. I had to battle a bit to get it out, um, but what a fish. And again, typical of this beautiful lake and uh, some of the fish inside it. Let's get you back. Well happy with that, get in. There we go, 26 pounds, 10 ounces. And uh, this is a fish I've had my arm for a long time because 
when the water's murky, it's about the only fish you can see in there. It shows up as a bar of gold floating about. And uh, funny enough, a good mate of mine had it a week or so ago, and I thought my chances of catching this one had gone. Although I was, I was happy for him. But there you go. He's a he's a bit of a mug. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. What a fish. What a fish. What a session. What a place. Love it. Let's get you back, mate. Well done, you. pound 10 ounces fit lean fighting common cup and uh, it did beat me up a bit and that's been one of the sessions of my lifetime really four twenties in a row after going so long without managing to get one and uh, I can't think of a better way than to uh, end the video what a place I'm gonna miss it so much fish like this in here nobody else here pretty much most of the time it's been bliss but uh, on to the pastures new. See you soon.